Good morning guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to, with this video, I'm going to do the flip through of this lovely little uh, journal I've made. It will be available on Etsy. And it is a repurposed book cover, as you can see. That um, so it's a quite an old one, vintage um, book book cover of a what Katie did next story, and what I've done is um, basically I've vintage put some vintage fabric on the back, left the spine as it is, and added some book metal book corners just on on the front, um, added a detachable hmm, what's this called dangle quite early in the morning <laughs> I'm trying to do this before the day kicks off so you'll have to excuse me I'm afraid I've done the dangle and what I've done is I've just popped it onto this um, little sort of um, uh, mini board or clip so you can keep it on it's quite happy happy if you flip it up if you want to work but you can put it on or you can put it on any, any of your pages as you work that's fine the actual measurement of the journal um, it's 20.5 centimetres high and about 13.5 centimetres wide. The spine is 3.5 centimetres wide and it contains three signatures. And all together the pages, and I've counted the pages, a bit of a random number, uh, 152 pages. I didn't really uh, count them, I just popped them in and that's what they turned out at, 152 pages and um, obviously it's tied with this grey grain, white grey grain river, uh, river, ribbon um, and I absolutely loved the cover when I first saw it, I love the vibrant colours and I just love this image and I've decided to leave it as is um, and basically as I say I've, I've just popped the, um, this beautiful vintage fabric from my stash absolutely gorgeous so that's on the back and on the spine and um, that's it let's hop right in I've tried to I've, what I've done with this I've tried to keep it really quite fresh I don't know if um, I made a, a series I made three books all together three journals like this um, and uh, two went for my friends, it was a custom order for her daughter, the other one was for my daughter. So then this one um, was the third one, and I just thought I've added a few more pieces. So front and back, I've added this um, really vibrant card stock, as you can see. It does lie flat, it's um, it's quite chocker, because I've, I've actually got about four pockets of goodies in it so you can take those out when you receive the journal so that's front and back okay it's beautiful so it's lots of vibrant colors in it once you get inside so here we go a vibrant colored cardstock and a selection of lovely um journal pages <laughs> oh. And I've done, um, I've popped some, um, this fabric isn't vintage, but it was in my stash and I loved it. I loved the way it went. I've just stapled it in and I've put this little, um, um, little glass bead trim, uh, not trim, dangle on there on a bulb pin. But I thought, yeah, for me it's quite different. There's no, um, coffee dyeing or anything in this one. So I've just popped some bits in. That's from Daphne's Diary, which I absolutely love. And just some, um, this is from some of the, uh, the washi that I have that are in here. And um, when I first got the washi, I basically popped it on a on some card to see what it was like. And so I've just popped some of that in there. This is from um, like an old, uh, a, um, writing pad but it's ladybird themes ladybird book themes which i thought was really fun and on the other side it says my best fiction is my daily to-do list or something uh, a bit of stamping this is uh, one of my charity top finds here that's beautiful okay. 
This is uh, Kath Kidston, um, some little writing notelets, like the old-fashioned airmail um, forms. I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember those. Um, it's that sort of style where you write your letter and uh, fold it over and the envelope addressy bits on the back you'll see on the other side of the journal. So. Love that, love that. So there's loads of room for journaling and loads of room for adding your own bits and pieces um, apart from the ephemera that I've popped in. But uh, this is from a vintage book, a uh, stamp book, stamp collecting book, and I love it, that I picked up recently. Mm, I popped this in from a beautiful fairy tale book that I have and I decided to where is it oh this one you can see favorite book of uh, fairy stories and the center uh, some a couple of the centers I think pages are from this book but I decided I just love it I just love 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 it and I decided to pop some of these just a couple of bits to collage in. A little bit of stamping. A little bit of stamping as well. I'm trying to get out of the way of a shadow here. Colouring page. I think that's the centre page on this one. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, this is from the Big Fairy Story book, which is vintage and it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the images. Love the colours. Oh, look at that. Just makes you want to cry. Such a lovely image. And that's from this um, Make Yourself Happy colouring book, which I love. And I popped them in some of those pages in all of these journals. Which one? That's from the fairy book again. I did. I wasn't going to do any inking. I wasn't going to do any collage. I was going to try and leave it, but I, I couldn't. I thought this lent itself to a little bit more. Just a little bit more. The others were really for little girls. And my little girl daughter's attacked her so far with loads of washi and butterfly stickers and everything glittery, and she's having a great time with it. And then I thought this would be nice just in case somebody who's a little older, like my good self, would like to own it or give it as a gift. Be a nice gift for a tween, I suppose. That's a funny term that you just come across, but now my little one, I suppose, is in that category. Okay. So that's the other side of that best fiction writing day to do list. Lost on kids that wit, but makes up makes us chuckle. And on that one, so I've got little glass bead here as again. I don't know if got it, can you see? Yeah, it's a little glass dangle on there. And as you can see, some more bits and pieces for decorating. These are beautiful. gorgeous I love them love 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 little cards you can I love the glasses and pen on the side of this I've used quite a lot of this in different projects and I just think it's such fun second signature so it's just oh I have to hurry this up a little, little bit guys and it could be the day or the 24 hour upload and I really I'll try and get three videos up today. So we have the Women in the Garden inspired journal as well. I'd like to get uploaded today. And the Etsy restock. And I've got my beautiful fabrics and the retro cards I'd like to share with you. I just did the one. I just did the one fabric clip in there. So I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna do that either. <laughs> I wasn't going to do that either, but I just, I thought this lent it to it, just to 
indulger cells for the one page. So you've got like a little flip and that's that. That fabric is so gorgeous. I love it. And this, uh, a large fabric piece of, uh, of this is in the uh, the packs that I'm doing. Um, that can, it's enough to cover two journals of this size, should you wish to. Um, and I have some in a small, uh, small fabric packs with the little linens as well. Um, and that's the other centre page. Aren't they gorgeous? A little red, red riding hood. And this is the other, uh, another of the Kath Kidston writing notelets. If you can see how beautiful that is, I just. So yes, the writing notelets. So the idea is you would sort of write your note and then you'd fold it over. I've cut the the gluey flappy bits off because they're just getting in the way, getting on my nerves. But I've popped them in a. Um, I can you can. Uh, in a little goodie pack. More ladybird, ladybird. So everybody's taste is different. This is quite a different journal for me, but I've seen other people do very similar bright colours in, in and, I, and I quite like them. I quite like them. Let me just turn on the little bags. A little. opens up and you've got the birds inside as well. There's our charming prints from, from the storybook. Third signature. Beautiful florals, vibrant colours. I popped in here. All these playing cards, these are from where my mum's from, St Vincent, that's a, a, a parrot that actually um, they, they're known for in that um, part of the world, that little island. This is from the little goody, uh, the cards of uh, the history of different flying machines and that's quite fun. And I popped in the, the girls' books. Another one of the Kath Kidston little goodies. I thought it was quite fun. So you get a really chunky book, lots of room for doing as you wish. That's the idea. And that's a little. That's just from the fairy story book. Quite a bit of a hydrangea stamp. In there. A ladybird book. <laughs> An elaborate cupcake. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. That's from that colouring page. Huge um, squared paper. So I've done some lines, plain, notelets. Now I'm going to pop that in because I hadn't sewn it in. So I was going to pop that in like so with a little pin. Different colours as you can see. Smaller squares. Other side of the little notelet, the craft twisting notelet. This is a beautiful, just a little bit of a beautiful page from the fairy story. But you can see those images, the beautiful colours. Beautiful colours. I, oh, I, I thought I'd pop a few extra bits in here that were just fun. I just found that. <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall. That is from the book. An old from an old 1970s style notelet, I thought. Have it set. Card. Oh, 
Yeah, let's put it back in there. I'm just going to leave 15 minutes now, so we're not going to linger. Not going to linger, but look at the beautiful colours. this little um, embellished jumbo paper clip in there with some uh, lace. I don't think any of the lace on this is vintage. I don't think any of this is vintage to be fair. Oh, apart from the little dangle. Uh, that's from a, a, a vintage necklace. So that can be moved, but I just thought it looked quite nice on that page like so, with the dangle on the back. So guys, that is what Katie did next. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. You enjoyed the, the video on that. Um, it should be available in my Etsy store. And uh, that's it really. Thank you for taking the time out to share this with me. I do appreciate that. And we've had quite a few new subscribers too. So stick with us. Um, I shall be, um, the next video will be looking at, um, actually I don't know, I won't say that, I don't know what, I won't, don't know which order I'm going to um, upload these in, so that's it guys, so take care, and I'll see you in the next video, bye!